is that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle really did come over to see our gracious majesty the Queen with one thing on their mind but as ever what was it hi good morning Neil Sean here in the heart of London nice to see you today hope you're all keeping well what a lovely day eh, behind me this is Whitehall very heart of the beating political landscape up and down here quite a lot actually it's funny isn't it with politics though one day you're up one day you're down and of course you're in or you're out I'm sure it's the same wherever you are in your world it's funny with politicians, you know, they really are sort of voted on popularity. It's a bit like American Idol, isn't it, or X Factor. The minute you say something wrong, you're out. Or in the modern day phrase, you're cancelled. Is this really what's happened though to the former royals known as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Prince Harry and of course the former actress Meghan Markle? Let me explain. Now both Harry and Meghan made that very secret visit on their way across to the Netherlands to see our gracious majesty the Queen and uh, they basically you know allegedly wanted to come in secrecy because of security issues and then we had reports about them waving to crowds going through Windsor all of that sort of stuff ridiculous when you think because of course if they wanted to remain private they could have done look at Tom Cruise he walked through Windsor for the full adoration he knew exactly what he was doing he's got a movie to sell and of course he's performing in front of our gracious majesty the Queen that's how you do it Harry and Meghan please the crowd you know read the room as they say and then of course there was a big speculation as to the fact that uh, Harry and Meghan were not then going to be invited to stand on the very prestigious Buckingham Palace uh, balcony for the main celebration of the Platinum Jubilee and as we told you also first and exclusive here on the channel that was part of the reason so that a gracious majesty the Queen could actually say to them in person these were the plans but as ever the story evolves and according to a very good and close source this really was the main visit for the reason and of course as ever try and be impartial as we do on this channel when I tell you this part of the story and as ever we have to say allegedly. According to that good source both Harry and Meghan were very keen to connect to our gracious majesty the Queen. Now some might say of course it's good for their branding and also the fact moving forward that they need to reaffirm their association with the world's most famous family. But according to that source, Prince Harry was very keen to offer his and his wife's services. I know, it's unbelievable, isn't it, when you think about it? But uh, he said that he saw from afar, obviously, those many thousands of miles away, that everybody else had had to step up since, of course, Megxit, and as ever, allegedly again. Interesting, though, that uh, Prince Andrew being removed from the lineup too was created more uh, you know harder work if you like never seen the royals as busy as they have been in the last few months to be honest with you so when you think about it prince harry offering to take particularly some of the former army duties would have made sense now we're not quite sure exactly how the end of that conversation went possibly on the lines of thank you very much very kind of you to offer everything's covered but whatever way you look at it then prince harry went to speak about that also secret visit with NBC much to the annoyance of his current employer Netflix so either way you can read into it was of course his gracious offer accepted or indeed as ever was he politely declined after all he decided to start a brand new more private life across the world in California you have to admire our majesty the queen it may take some time but as ever as she pointedly famously pointed out recollections may vary and more importantly time solves everything as ever when i know more you'll know more neil sean in the very heart of london